what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to Floss Tube. We're so excited to be finally back with you. We're, we're, we're speaking quieter because we've moved where this is at now. Yes, our studio is much smaller now. So, <clears throat> and you're th probably thinking like, if you're a long time person, like how many times are you gonna switch your studio? <coughs> but listen. If you're close friends with Kia, they're <clears throat> old, you never come to the same house more than once. That's very true. That's very true. If you've ever visited our house, I- um, We moved it like five times already. Yes. It's just how it is. It's just how it is, so. That's all right. Yeah. Um, we're glad to be back with you. It's been just a little over a month. Um, it has been longer. I think we posted at the beginning of May, so about a month and a half then. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we have had a little bit of a break. We had a couple of things come up, and um, so we're back now. We are back. Yeah. Little, little life hiccups. Yeah, just a few little life hiccups. Everything's fine. Yep, everything's great. It's going to be great. So thank you for being patient with us and we're excited to be back with you and talking cross stitch and quilting and all of these fun things. Um, we have a fun week coming up. So we just kind of wanted to share with you and talk about that and everything. Just know everybody in our life is fine. Um, we just have to step away for a little bit. Yep, so. and we're back. Yeah, I feel like we we do that every now and then. So. Well, y'all y'all understand. Yeah. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna rehash the... That's true. If you've been with us for a while, you, know you kind of know what's you kinda, up. You know what's going so. on. Anyway. Everyone's good. Yeah. Everyone's good. Now. <laughs> now. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we'll get started. Um, been stitching just a little bit here and there. Not a whole heck of a lot, but. Yeah, I just started picking up stitching again. Yeah. So it's you been like a month and yeah. a half since I touched anything cross stitching. Yeah. And I was talking to Koi about this the other day because I spoke to Koi um, from Stitchshire. So if you know who Koi and Sarah are from Stitchshire. Um, all right, I should take that's all good. Uh, we're just talking about like other things that we're doing during this time, and um, I think you said it. We kind of hinted around it a couple days ago. It's just trying to find that groove again, right? Yeah. Trying to find the like a, a new normal. A new normal, and I know that's been played out. And I know that's been that whole term has been talked out, and I get that. But like in our situation, it just evolving and. Yeah. It, it's not a new normal. Yeah. <laughs> like a month and a half ago. So, so for like <laughs> us moving studios, it's because of life circumstances that my studio couldn't be where it needed to be and we needed to make that room something right, else. Right. And so like now we're pushed back into like excuse me, a different corner of our house, which we're still blessed to be able to work from oh, home. Yeah. So or I still work from home. You went back to work. But yeah. Anyway. So, you know, stitching has like it's been in the background a little bit. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of stitching done in the last couple of weeks. You're just like, but, but that's like me processing. So yeah, I think that's part of it, right? Just yeah. trying to process it. And then when I was talking to Koi and I've talked to you about it, it's just like I just need to make it a structural thing. This for me to progress in life, um, not necessarily successful, just progress in life. I have to have some type of structure. And when I don't have a structure, I feel lost. So when I don't have something like what I'm working on with cross stitch. I'm just kind of floating around and I don't like that feeling. So mm -hmm. with me, I have to have that structure and, and cross stitches that structure for me. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I think the last time we saw you, we had just done the Sambri interview, oh, yeah. which was so phenomenal. Oh, was we loved that so much. And she's posted a ton since then. Yes. So um, definitely keep checking her channel out. Um, there's been a lot happening in the cross stitch world. StitchCon happened. Yes. which is super fun. We unfortunately uh, were not able to attend. Um, and we kind of thought that might happen. I think I said in our last video, we were really hoping to go. And at that time, it was still a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, but we were not able to go, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. And then um, we'll kind of go over what we did instead. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, okay, do you want to talk a little bit about whips? Yeah, because I've got, I've got one. Okay. <laughs> um, I had a hankering for um, monochromatic and just not switching colors and for me to just ease right into it and of course um i have to say this is my favorite monochromatic piece oh really that i've worked on because it's not this one means a lot because you gave it to me mm -hmm. right um all souls band meant a lot because the year that we were doing it in 2020 it, it's never going to get finished mm -hmm. like that's how i'm going to finish it that it's not finished um and i'm going to frame it at some point um, but going back to ink circles with this amazing color, this is what it is. 
swamp water. Swamp water. Um, and I just like looking at it, looking at my iPad because I've got it scanned in and be able to blow things up and, and just work on it just one color at a time. And it's just the only color I have for it. So I'm really, really excited for it. Uh, I got a lot done. I mean, the squirrel is done. Like the squirrel is done and I'm now working on the vine here and there's the branches that's gonna come through on the bottom. Um, he is just like the happiest little squirrel. He is happy. I love the two-tone. I love the variegation of this thread. And we're, I'm probably almost, I don't know, an eighth in. Uh, this pattern is huge. Yeah. Like it's, I mean, this thing is a- It's large. It is a big boy. Like it's a, like that. Mm -hmm. that's, I don't want to hit you in the head. That's a, that's a change of pace. No, you're um, not the usually you're trying to hit me. Um, so I'm really liking where I'm at. I finished the squirrel and I was really excited about it because it was just like, okay, the first instant gratification of got, got something done in yeah. cross stitch. Yeah. Um, and it just makes me want to do it to like later on tonight. So it just calms me down. Again, it's that structure thing that I'm, I'm talking about and it makes me like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I can see my success in cross stitch. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's, I love that pattern. I oh, I think it's a fabulous pattern. So um, my first whip in May, I pulled this out and restarted it. I was not in love with the fabric. I think I told you guys, um, I was not in love with the fabric and I had gotten a really good amount. Um, yeah, a good chunk of it done. Yes, and then decided I didn't love the fabric. So I am talking about the Heartstring Samplery Baby, Baby is Cold Outside in memory of our dear friend Leanne. And so I pulled that out and restarted that in May. Gosh, you got and a lot. I didn't realize until today. I had not seen I just this. now saw your progress. I put progress. it in the filming basket and then never pulled it out Look again. At that. So that's a restart that I had in the month of May. So I think we've talked about that. You know, if you so I love this. work on something that you absolutely so love, and if you're like eh about it, yeah. There's no rule that you can't not do it over again. I wish I could show you, but like the um, stitches that I have in this now. Okay, I apologize for shadows. We are still figuring out the lighting situation in our um, new studio. So there's gonna be shadows and I'm sure background noise. So please forgive us. But the difference in my stitching in this 40 count using one strand versus the 32 count that I had started this project on with two strands I have just, I have come a long way in knowing my strengths and weaknesses in stitching. And 32 count is a weakness for me. Using we two strands is a, I should clarify. Using two strands is a weakness for me. It, we don't call it weakness. We don't call it opportunity. We call them learnings. Okay. Is that the new yep. retail lingo? Mm-hmm. Okay. Learnings. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. oh, I am. Okay, so the next one I worked on. Um, this is pretty good. Oh, I know when I worked on this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I worked on this. This is the Sarsi Girl 2020 Pandemic Sampler. I love this. This is like my first really large sampler with tiny um, motifs. And I was really looking forward to working on this. So I took a weekend, to, again, didn't like the fabric. And I originally told, chosen 5363 count for this. And I just wasn't loving how condensed it looked. I feel like my sample I needed to open up a bit. So I chose 46 count. Do you think it's because of the theme of the piece? Maybe. Or do you think it's the uh, Maybe. symbolicness of how so, everything is spaced out? Maybe. And not so crammed because that's not what we were? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So this is the um, pattern and you. this is a freebie. You can um, find this. It is Sarsi Girl. Her name is Christy Stevenson. Um, and she's using the hashtag 2020 pandemic sampler. And this is the piece of Be Stitch Me that I grabbed to put it on. Isn't that awesome? It looks great. Like it's super dyed and I kind of love it. And then here's where I'm at in my corner. It almost looks camouflage. Okay, I had to make sure that was my front. That's good. <laughs> Isn't that a compliment? Yeah. So I'm just in the bottom left corner on the border, but that's where I'm at. It's a compliment so. not knowing if it's your front or your back. No, it's that the X's were tiny. I appreciate I what you're trying. trying to I say. I was trying. I do appreciate what you're trying to say. So I worked on that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not going to show that one. Okay. And then um, I'm working on another project, but it's a gift. So I'm not going to show it. But I got a good start. Good start. Oh, I'm really dumb. I did not get a good start. I got a start. You're not dumb. <laughs> it's not just dumb. been life right now. <laughs> yes. So this is, um, you can't tell. It's that tiny little bird. That's cute. Um, it's February. 
the house series from the twins. <laughs> There's no way that you would know that. But this is the start of February. Hi, twins. Um, this is I'll Be Home series from the Twin Peak Primitives. Yes. We love the girls so, so much. Yes. And um, I don't know, we just love them in general. I'm sorry, I feel like we keep shaking the table. Are you jumping right into um, finishes? I am. Okay, I don't have anything. I mean, just because I, I have it, yeah. So I started February because I finally finished January. So I started this last year when Pam started it in June, a year ago. Happy birthday, Pam. It was last week. Uh, but anyway, I just have so many whips I need to get through. So my year of whips is still going very, very strong. So very strong. So that's cool. This that is January. I finished it. This is on 40 count. What's that color of the house? The house is. Um, looks like a silver. No, it's a it's like a baby blue color. It looks so uh, great. But you know, I took this to keepsakes um, in the fall, and I showed it to the girls, and I was like, "Am I pulling too tight?" But I have just figured out that's why I really like my stitches. Yeah. I like them to be super uniform and tightly pulled. And they are so, very uniform. And some some people don't like that look, but I do. And yep. And my stitching, which makes me probably not a good model stitcher because I do. I think it depends on the designer, right? I, I think, think it that, does. I think yeah. it depends. Um, if designer has asked you to do a model stitch, they've actually seen your stuff. Yes. Um, and we go from there. So, I mean, it's, it's I think that's a designer call. So, yeah. 82. So that went super quick. This is probably going to be a really short video because it's just kind of like easing, easing back in. Yes. Um, so we talked about StitchCon and how we unfortunately were not able to attend. We were set to go to a, a StitchCon B and life happened and we just weren't able to go, which I was super, super sad to miss out that opportunity to be with Liz and Steph in person. Um, and Pam. And Pam, yes. And of course, like all the other Weekend B people. Yeah. Um, and Liz was so sweet in her video. She literally said like the only thing that could have made it better is if I was there, which I thought was so incredibly kind that she took the time to say that. So um, in an effort to kind of help me feel a little bit better and not feel so um, much like I was missing out, do you want to talk about what you did? So I had a I had an inkling. So I don't know what you were doing. You were actually out of the house. I had run to the quilt shop. It was just quilt like, yes. anyway, that's a whole different topic. You were out of the house and I looked at the boys and I'm like, I'm going to look up something really cheesy and see if this is going to go. So the boys, the boys are like, everything you do, dad, is cheesy. So I printed off a banner, like I, it was like three banners and one piece of like, what's the normal letterhead or letter eight and a half, eight and a half by 11, right? Mm -hmm. I strung it across our um, dining room and kitchen. It says home con. And I was trying to do something to just like, we couldn't be there because of life, life things. And we had every intention going, but just, just mountains just happened and we couldn't navigate through that. So. I, we were gonna do with the home con. It couldn't be stitch con, so we got home con. So we did everything at home. Yeah. Um, and Kia and her mom just ran with it. Kia like designed this whole like this whole thing like an official home con 2021 retreat. Uh, it was very very nice, and it was just a, a I thought it was a really dumb idea, but it was something that I was trying to be super sweet and kind of ease the the woe that I couldn't go, you couldn't go, and it's just the things that happen. So, yeah. so you made a yeah, so itinerary of, schedule. Yeah, so part of the circumstances, uh, my parents were staying with us for just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, so my mom and I just kind of like took this idea and ran with it. So we have an itinerary and schedule. So uh, my mom, I gave her the StitchCon website. She pulled up the itinerary and schedule for StitchCon and then she was like changing it to be at home. So. On Thursday, we too started at noon and then we had a snack break and a dinner break. Every night we had an activity with the family. So yeah. the first night was like a movie with the family. And then the second night was game night with the family uh, for two and a half hours. And so each night was super fun. And then we ended Sunday evening, which was Father's Day. And so um, it's just really cute. It said for unpaid attendees, here, all are, here are all important notes and information you'll need to get through your weekend. Disclaimer: HomeCon 2021 is an is open to is an open to the family event. If you are not a family member, you will be permitted to am, enter, including the HomeCon stitching room. Sweet. She even put on here late night stitching until midnight. Stitching room closes at midnight. 
Um, and so it was just like, it was super fun, just like a way for us to do that. So it was really silly. I created a logo. We had shirts. Oh, I yeah. meant to wear it. I forgot to wear um, mine. Yeah. So we had shirts. I like quickly Wednesday night had made some shirts for us. Everybody got a welcome you bag. You kicked me out of your studio like <laughs> five times. Everybody got a welcome bag. So their welcome bag was, um, we, we chose this like B theme mm -hmm. because again, I made a logo. So everybody got a welcome bag with some stitchy gifts and a t-shirt. So we had spirit wear. Yes, we did. And everything. And then I made us signs. So we had our treat station or concessions. Yep. We had the freebie table, which I did put <laughs> set several did. things in the freebie. And my mom took several of them, which was awesome. Yep. Then we had an annex, mm -hmm. which was the studio. So you could come and purchase things that you needed to purchase. Or borrow. Or borrow. <laughs> and we obviously had the registration table where you had to register with your name tag and uh, get your your welcome packet yep. and your gift. And so I printed out some freebie patterns and uh, kitted up some things for each of them. And it was, it was just Nathan and my mom and I. Uh, my dad was here, obviously, but yes. uh, he even, he had a, um, he <laughs> got a home con shirt and- um, Here for the carbs. His says, here for the carbs. Uh, so my dad is a, a very, uh, unfortunately a very strong diabetic and um his carb count right now is kind of off and so uh that has been our family pushes that we need to watch his carbs and um so his shirt said just here for the carbs yep. and let me tell you we had an outing to the quilt shop uh where he drove miss daisy to the quilt shop and the ladies there thought it was hilarious they just thought his shirt was so funny yep so that was that was a good little kick so we did that through Father's Day and it was really fun. It was it was just a good little like I don't know, bright spot in our time. I think we were just so. trying to make the best of what we were going through at and that time. Good. And yeah. um you know, it's just one of those things. It's just Yeah, it happened. Yeah, I think so too. Absolutely. Uh with all that to be said, if you are waiting on a giveaway from us, I sincerely apologize. Um getting anywhere, um Yeah. Anywhere is is not happening. Um so I apologize. Um, please email me again so that I can I can make sure that we have you. And and if you could remind me what you won, I would sincerely appreciate that. I I am so sorry, but that is that is where we're at. That's where we're at. So, um, I got a wonderful little gift um, in the post, Ooh. and I want to share it with you. Um, and this was a an awesome bright spot. To this our was an awesome bright spot. So not only. Um, did I get a gift? But you guys are getting a gift as well. So I love this card. It says, Mama didn't raise no fool. You got this. And this was just such a cute little encouragement. Um, so this is from Sue. She's the pack of pressing mat um, lady who with What Have You Farm. I brought her to you before and shown you how amazing I love her pressing mat. So I have a pack of pressing mat. It does not smell like a wool pressing mat does. You can use water on it. You can... Um, like use a steam iron it's wonderful it does not flatten your stitches i will before i finish anything i will put either quilt box or stitching on it and it does yep. not flatten anything i love it so so much and it's made very very well yes and it's a small business and i love supporting small businesses and sue is just phenomenal and she just knew that we were having a really rough time. And so she sent this sweet little gift. I had asked her if she could make me a custom size. Um, so we had a sweet subscriber like two years ago, send me a mat that fits my ironing station perfectly. She had it custom made and Sue made it. And it was wonderful. Lisa, send that to me. And I just, I was so, so grateful. And I wanted a second one. So I reached out to Sue and I said, can you make me, I need this size. She said, I'm on vacation right now, but as soon as I get back, I will let you know. And I kind of filled her in on what was going on. So then this showed up and I just thought this was the sweetest little card. She writes such encouraging notes. And um, so she sent me this awesome alpaca mat. Look how huge it is. It's a square. I love it. I think it's 15 by 15. I think it's fantastic. Um, and she sent me a coupon code for you guys to use. So, um, it is Kia B, K E A B E E 15. And it is $15 off the fat quarter size or larger, even a special order. So that is going to be good until the end of September, September wow. 30th. And um, this would be a great gift for quilters oh and cross stitchers across the board, right? Yes. Just leave a couple of notes around your house that you would really love with an alpaca pressing them. Yes. And the. Um, 
what she does with the alpacas is, is super awesome and just a retirement i think the best way to talk about it is a, a retirement home for alpacas, alpacas yeah. yeah so um this is a great if you're doing your holiday ship holiday shopping, shopping. early mm -hmm. This would probably be on a top 20, top 10 list. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. But it doesn't have to be just for cross stitching, right? You can actually just iron with it, like, yeah. with it. Yeah. So, so um, these alpacas that she raises are retired um, alpacas from different wool farms. And they, uh, we have a video all about this. So you can look back in our old videos yes. where we talk about the alpacas themselves. And every once in a while, Sue will say that alpacas say hi. Um, and she harvests their wool and then she makes them into these wonderful paca pressing mats so um it's it's just awesome it's yeah. it's really great i love it so much i can't say enough great things about it and sometimes what i've run into with a wool pressing mat before i got this was uh before i got the other one was that it would smell it like had that wool. that's how i knew she was ironing right like it just smells i have not had one single any whiff of anything with the alpaca, awesome. with the alpaca pressing mat. I'll make sure I say it right. So, yeah, because it's not an alpaca being pressed. <laughs> yes. So again, your code for $15 off, which is a fantastic code, is Kia, K-E-A-B-E-E-1-5. -E -E no that's spaces. Gonna give you no spaces, and the K and the B are capitalized. I'm not sure if that matters, but it might. And that is What A View Farm. So it's What A H View Farm. Love so. it. I'll try and remember to link that down below. We'll do it. Yeah. What else? Okay. Um, let's talk about Creative Notions. Love it. Yes. So they sent me this really awesome project bag. Full. Can you guys see this? And it has a handle on the end. I was just saying, you can use it by the handle. I love this so much. And this is their little, I love the little camper tag. So they sent us this and I want to open this for us. And it's so, they are so creative and so Oh my goodness, of, yes. Not every package every month is the same. Correct. So she is trying a lot of different things out and for us to be um, walking next to her kind of promoting this yeah. and seeing the different evolutions of the packaging and yeah. she's trying to make sure the best bang for your buck for her clients and mm -hmm. I love it. And we should be close to what they are now. She's trying to just figure out what is the best shipping method. Yes. And so she started, when she started the subscription, we've been uh, with her from the very beginning. When mm -hmm. she started the subscription, she uh, was shipping in boxes, just like every other subscription box was. And then she figured out like, okay, well, if I ship it in like this package and then in an ugly box, it's a little cheaper. Uh, because who cares about like what the box looks like, right? It's more about the contents. And the fact that she gives us usable bags with everything in it, I would much rather have that than a cardboard box I'm not gonna use again. We've had, uh, yes. half of, yes, half of a room full of empty boxes. Okay, really so May 2021, um, this is the box and it's all about family. So it says, family like branches on a tree, we all grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. So that was what our theme was this year, Sweet. or this month, Sweet sorry, something. this year. Goodness, okay, so we have this fabric and I know that there is a panel in here. <laughs> so then we have this, which is just a solid white. Yes. Polka dots and some lettering so this whole piece is one piece this is a piece and then the white is separate because there's always a method to her madness show you. there's always a method to what she's putting in so she gives you everything to make a family tree wall hanging like how awesome is that so this is a family tree wall hanging and i can't i don't know if you can see it but these are pictures right so how would you get pictures on your quilt but with transfer paper. And she gives you the transfer paper that you need to use in your printer. And then iron onto your fabric. Like that's what the white fabric is for. Isn't this phenomenal? Yeah. Like I love this so, she is so incredibly thoughtful. As in like, she doesn't wanna just give you a project that you're gonna have to buy extra things for. She wants to give you a project that you're able to complete. That's out of the, and so, that's out of the normal though. Like yes. a, business wants to give you the whole yes. kit, kit and caboodle, right? The whole thing. Usually when you come across subscription boxes, it's just like they're gonna give you pieces of the project and you have to fill it in. Right. This is all of it. Right. So then we also in our bag got this five and a half inch square up ruler from Creative Notions. So you can see cool. it's got like their logo on everything on it. And it's a squared them up ruler. 
Like that's amazing. That's, that's nice. really, really awesome. Very cool custom piece. Yes. So I got two rulers and then all the fabric and the transfer paper for that. Yes. I want to make sure I'm saying everything correctly here. Um, so yeah, so you got the family tree panel and then the family tree stripes um, in that fabric bundle. And then um, for your printer, you got the white fabric um, that you will do the photo transfer paper onto. You'll iron that on there. And then we got the ruler. And then there's a block of the month pattern, which I won't show you because it does give away the blocks. So I don't right. want to do that. But then you guys, a we two. got this Maker's <laughs> Planner washi tape. So if you remember, we gave away that planner at the beginning of the year. Yep. And this is planner washi tape. Yes. How adorable is this? So it has just different sayings on it. It has quarter inch tape on there. Choose Joy, a little sewing machine. Like this is sewing themed washi tape and I love it. And then she always puts two treats in here for us because she knows Nathan and I both are here. So we got regular Oreos and golden Oreos. Thank you, Vicki. So incredibly kind. So I want you guys to check out um, this subscription box. I am going to just hold up this information here. And then again, I will try to remember to put it in the description box below, but is creativenotions.com. And then you can go there to look at all of the subscription opportunities that you can get. And like I said, you guys, like this box is one of my favorites. I love this box. And I'm going to repeat myself probably one more time. This is a good idea for a gift for someone for a birthday, mm -hmm. uh, a quilty friend, a cross stitch friend, yeah. things like and that. that are, and you know, it's a great project to have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. What's next? Okay. Do you want to talk about these? Uh, yeah. So I got a package, well, I say I, I saw a package <laughs> um, that was at our PO box and I was asking how cool are these? These are hoops, but they come in all different sizes. They come in different sizes and colors. Look at that. So I'm actually going to pull all them out just because it's not new. How cool is that? Yeah. Right? And I know Kia was using one of them or is using one of them right now in one of her projects. And look at that little guy. And she was working on the project for about an hour, hour and a half one night. And she's like, she passed it to me because we, you know, we trade stitches and look mm -hmm. at each other and, um, you know, admire the stitches that they, each other does. And it was still like a drum. Like you can still like, yeah. You can still hear I never a drum. lost tension. There was no tension loss. And this was like an hour and a half. And usually with hoops or a cue snap that I'm using, I always have like to adjust the tension. Yeah. And that's like every what half hour, 45 minutes. I'm doing something wrong, let me know. But I haven't come across a hoop or a cue snap that I don't have to keep adjusting. This is one of them that Kia was using that it wasn't it was still like firm. So it was great. Drum tight. Yes. And it so was fantastic. I will give you um, really quick the listing. Yes. So Steph has talked about these before because she's used um, some of the silicone, like ones that grip onto your fabric. Mm -hmm. So it is this company, Kado, C A Y D O, and um, this is just a company on Amazon. And I tr I saw that these were a different style than the one Steph has, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try these and see if I like them. And guys, I love them. And I think for a set of four, I paid less than $15 for that. Um, um, and so that's a really good option for you if you like those. I think everyone has their certain types, right? I think yeah. on our Sambri um, interview, they were talking about what you can't do without on mm -hmm. your stitching. And I haven't come across a, a great tool that always has tension. So I might be jumping into one of these pretty soon. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. So. I did a little bit of shopping on eBay. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, so I can't, unfortunately, cannot show one of the things I bought because it's a gift, so I don't want to give it away. Uh, but from another seller, she was selling some things, um, and I just bought to save on shipping from her. Um, I bought a couple of things, so I want to show you those. These are a couple of retired things. Um, so this is the drawn thread, and I was I was told a chart doesn't yeah. travel alone, right? No chart travels alone. Right. So this is the drawn thread and this is called Merry Little Christmas. And it still has the beads with it, which I love this. I think it's absolutely adorable. So I can't wait to stitch him. And then another one from the draw, drawn thread is called Two Tiny Samplers. You guys, 
like, are you dead? You can barely even <laughs> see them. They're 41 by 41 and 35 by 56. I'm obsessed. With I was gonna this say one. that's a that's a bureau alley right there, right? So cute. Like, can you think of this as a um, Smalls exchange? So, oh, and that's on a 28 count. I love it so much. Okay, and then I got this little kit. So this is also from the drawn thread. I promise I did buy one other thing that's not from the drawn thread. And this is um, uh, holiday Halloween. A cute little stitch. That is cute. So I think this came in like a, I was wanting one thing and it came as a bundle. I was gonna say, because it's not yeah. typical. You it's not what I would buy typically, but I, I was buying the next thing I'm about to show you and um, to the tiny sampler and then this one came with it. Oh, okay. So that's okay. why, that's why I got that. So isn't that so cute? That is cute. And then you guys, you will know why I bought this when I show it to you. And we just won't tell Steph and Liz because they'll How do probably you? eventually see this finished. But this is from the Trilogy. Um, and it is out of print. You can't even buy it anymore. And I found this kit on eBay. And it was a special edition kit. It's from the Trilogy. And it is called Three Friends. Cute. Look at it. That is cute. Isn't that adorable? Are you dead? That's what, um, that's what Debbie and Kef say all the time. Yes. Are you dead? So I just love this. I want to stitch it for all my friends. So I think that's Fantastic. Super cute. Yeah. Hey, okay, you want to talk about this one? Ooh, girl. So colored cotton came through. They always do, right? Yeah. There was one time that. Never mind. I won't up. So two colors. Well, not the same color. Two different floss types, right? So one is 32 Lagana. Did you say floss? You yeah, mean fabric? Fabric types. It's been a long day. It's been a fun day. Long day though. 32, Lagana, even weave. And then this is gonna be your 40 count, or AKA also known as Newcastle. Fieldstone. I love this fabric. Open that one. Yes, ma'am. Like open it up so we can see. Oh, it. yes. I don't like. I think this is gorgeous. It's a gray blue. Oh, yeah. I think it may be reading a little more gray than it is in um, person. But it's so pretty. Yeah, definitely one of those things that you're like, yeah, you, yeah, that's, that's going to be used at some point. Don't know what it is going to be used for, but it will be used. Yeah. Um, fieldstone, sandstone, that, that, those colors are pretty, pretty cool. Yes. All right, what do you have? Okay, this is our last bit of haul. So, um, Allison from It's Charm School had a birthday. Happy birthday, Allison. I know, happy birthday, Allison. So, she was running a sale on her Etsy shop, and I've always wanted to buy something from her and I just haven't like made that a priority and I needed to. I told you at the beginning of the year, I was taking each month and spending at least $20 on a small business. So Allison was my small business that I, I um, bought from in June. And let me tell you, I got way more of a blessing um, because she was running this sale and um, she's just so sweet to share her birthday with everybody. Mm -hmm. And so look at this packaging y'all. I know you've seen this on other channels, but this tiny little box and it comes and it's so cute. So I kind of want to go through things and show you. There's a couple of things that if I open it, I'm like, oh, I can't show you that. It's because it's a gift. So let me, um, first of all, <laughs> she sends this little bitty awesome. envelope that has Velcro on it and it's got my needle minder in it. I had to have this, it's so cute. Can you guys even, mm -hmm. with the gingerbread man. Yeah, that's a thing. Right? Definitely. So I'm gonna start Snow Village over again on different fabric. And I thought that would be perfect for that. Okay. Then this next one, I can't show you. And then I told you that <laughs> Five minutes happen. later, I still can't show you that one. Okay. And then these are one of these. tail tuckers. Nope, these are tail tuckers. And so- Watch your mouth. <laughs> I got a little bee and then a floss ring like that. Okay, for or a spool. More importantly, so for me, what's the difference between a tail tucker and what I'm Okay, so do you see how it's super long? Yeah. So you slide it under your stitches, you put the tail of your floss in there because it opens. Look, I can't get it. There you go. Oh, it opens. See how it opens? It's your showing tail. See how it opens? Uh -huh. You stick your floss tail in there, you slide it under your stitches, open it, put your floss tail in there, and then pull it out, and it tucks your tails in. Did you not? It's awesome. I'm very, I've never used I, one. I'm very excited to own one. I'm very primitive. So on I just want everybody to know tools. she hand paints all of these things. Yeah, they look so great. like, 
it's a hundred percent amazing. She's an incredible artist. Yeah. So I bought both of those. I, I haven't decided. I think one of those is going to be a little gift, but I'm not sure. Okay. And then I saw this and had to have it because it's just so cute. So oh, yes. this is an Oort needle minder. Okay. So it's like a cute little basket, right? With felt in there. And then you can throw your Oort in there. It's like a little Moses basket. It's so cute. <laughs> These are so cute. I want to cry. Um, and then Allison just treats her customers like every single one is an MVP. An MVP, right? So then you like get this cute little like fuzzy stuff. She individual. She's a great recycler, recycle person, and she like takes little foam things and makes them into hearts. How cool is that? Yes, and then she includes because when we buy stuff from other people. It's like, okay, I hope you can still see us through that. I'm sorry, the thing popped up that my phone is about to die. Um, it's a common message she sees on her phone. <laughs> it is, let's be honest. Um, and so when we buy things, we're, we buy them as like normal customers. And it's so fun when like somebody's like, oh my gosh, we love your channel or something like that. We just think that's really cute. And so I think that Allison had included like a sweet little note to us and Tech Guy, or to me and Tech Guy. And then she included all of these stickers. And I know it's because we talk about how much we love stickers so much so yes. you guys look at all of these stickers that she sent us i will 100 percent be using these uh, yeah. but what's fun i think is, the only reason why you haven't used them yet because you want to show them <laughs> yes honestly yes but like look she like That's included cute. like some garage ones oh, too wow. for tech guys so they weren't all like super it's all right cool. i appreciate the thought which is so cute i just love it so much and she was so thoughtful to like send those to us so thank you allison so much i appreciate just your shop and your creativity is just amazing. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. So if you have not visited Allison's shop, please head over there and take a look at just her awesome art. She's yes. just phenomenal. So, okay. all right. Well, I said this was gonna be a shorter video. We're actually a little bit longer. So thank you so much for joining us in the hive. I say that, but what are our plans for this coming week? Uh, stitching more. We are stitching more. And we are celebrating this young lady's birthday this weekend. So, um, I have the honor to make the plans <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're going to have fun and we're going to enjoy some time and we go from that. And I start vacation on her birthday. I'm very excited. So, uh, much needed, uh, reprieve. Yes. Spend some time with the family. Um, uh, we've got family coming in. Yes, we do. So it's just, you know, Next it's going to be fan. It's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, so it's my birthday week. I'm very excited. Yes. So, uh, I will be mm, on Friday. Yes. So. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, with all that to be said, we're going to have lots of good stitching time. Tech is on vacation next week. So, we'll film again. And just thank you guys so much for all your patience and continued support. And we just appreciate you all very, very much. And um, while we're not being very open with what's going on, that's just what we've decided to do. So, we appreciate um, just our boundary there. So, yes. all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us in the hive and you have a great week. Bye.